Hello, sorry about uh, the time, which uh, actually, <laughs> okay, can't. Uh, sorry about the delay. Uh, if any of you has Gobby installed, they can help me with the slides with uh, this procedure. Gobby is like IRC with a text editor. Um, you can connect to the text editor and uh, take notes all together, which is fun. Uh, I'm asking because um, this talk is divided in two. Uh, the first half is uh, me talking about what I've done. The second half is me asking you about how to do things because I reached a point in which for a couple of things I have no clue. Uh, but it's fun. It's very interesting technical problems uh, for a computer scientist definition of interesting. Uh, I don't see people connected. Uh, apparently, maybe it doesn't work, maybe no one cares. Uh, you can take notes disconnected, it's just less fun. Um, so, um, the problem I'm trying to solve here is to build smart interfaces to browse the large Debian archive. I don't buy the Debian is too large, which should stop getting packages into it. I prefer to say um, uh, Debian is too large for the current tools we have to browse the archive. Let's make new ones and put even more packages into it. So that's like the kind of long-term goal. Now the first problem um, I think needs solving along this path is to have some sort of index uh, that can support actually browsing and scaling and searching on a massive amount of data. Now, actually, that's the second uh, problem I had. The first one was to have categories. But it's sort of okay right now. I'm proud of it. Uh, so we now have Debdex. We ha now have categories. They work decently. So the second step is, uh, well, uh, integrate everything into a nice, fast, cool index that allows to be like an engine for something smart to uh, browse and look for packages. APT is an index, it's a good one, uh, but not for searching packages. Uh, APT cache does a substring search of every single package, one, all package, look at the description, string, substring match. It's not ideal. Uh, but it's not fast. Uh, that's not what it's made for. So I'm not asking for APT to have a full text search index uh, because APT should solve package dependencies fast and figure out what needs to be installed in a machine. Um, I don't want to bloat APT, so I create another index. Uh, two different kinds. Uh, well the, the, um, another optional index if you want. So if you don't need to search in crazy way the package archive, you just don't install it. What the new index should have is uh, fast full text searches. APT cache is slow. Um, you don't have results right away. Uh, never mind search as you type. <laughs> so, okay. Um, faster tag searches. Well, I created dev tags. Well, not just me, but well, we cre we have dev tags. Uh, we want to use it. Uh, we don't want to like wait ages for things to happen with it. Like uh, dev tags is not supposed to be used by grabbing the tag field in grab up the veil or something like that. Uh, there should be something like give me all X11 programs or something. And uh, I would really like the index to be extensible. Uh, I've already gone through the pain of inventing a new piece of metadata for the Debian archive. And uh, if someone else has an idea for a new piece of metadata, ideally now with this index they should have a place to put the data instead of, well, having to reinvent a new index or whatever. So that is the problem, this index. The solution is apt Xapian index. It's a really ugly name. Uh, but uh, it's um, uh, APT is because everything having to do with packages is uh, APT in the name. Xapian is the technology behind it, behind it and index it's because it's an index. So uh, once you explain it, it's very it, it uh, that's what it is. Uh, it's an index that sits in varlib apt slash xapian slash index. Uh, 
mistake in the slide. It's based on Xapian technology. Uh, if you don't know Xapian, uh, it's a um, uh, full text search engine, like Lucene, that sort of things. This is uh, Xapian. Because the API to search the index is the Xapian API. So if you change the tool, you change everything. So, well. Then if you want to make it based on Lucene, then you will make apt Lucene index, <laughs> which is a different index that will have something, I don't know. Um, Xapian has a, a um, well, I, I basically decided to go on Xapian because it does everything. Uh, it can index text, but also numbers and dates. And uh, it understands numbers as numbers and dates as dates. So you can query all packages with th size less than this amount, or sort the result by package size. Um, or if you have dates, well, you could still take dates into account. Um, it has bindings in all sorts of languages, and they are decent. I've never had problem with the Xapian API. Um, and it's fantastically abusable. Uh, I was trying to do things with it. Uh, no, I was trying to do things, sorry, without it. And then I went to the Xapian RC channel, and I was like, yeah, I'd like to search things. So I'm making the Xapian query like this. but. Then I want to post-process the data, and usually they were like, yeah, but if you don't post-process the data and just tweak the search like that, actually you get what you want. <laughs> and that has happened at rather often in my experience, so I was like, well, you got me. <laughs> and uh, it's self-documented. Uh, um, th there's a readme file in the index that will tell you what you find in it. Um, indexing is done by update apt Xapian index uh, because every tool to update something in Debian starts with update something. Uh, it can be run interactively, and in that case, it will give a nice percentage indicator of how much time it's taking to index, or you can run it on a weekly cron job. Um, interesting thing about indexing is. Uh, uh, you can, if you need to inject new data in the index, you can uh, uh, add a plugin in this directory, uh, and the plugin can feed data during the indexing process. Uh, so, for example, uh, now APT is up in index by default, indexes package descriptions and dev tags. If uh, we created a package able to download popularity contest information, from the popularity contest page into the local system, this package can install a plugin over here to add the popularity contest data to the index. Easy, done. Uh, for ser to search the index, you just need the plain Xapian API. I found out in Debian that no matter the effort I would put in creating a new fantastic library to search packages, no one would ever use it. <laughs> so I decided that this time I don't. I point people at a library that already exists, so no one will have to learn a new random piece of technology that I pulled out of my pockets. <laughs> uh, but you just use another existing technology if you fail, if you don't think it's interesting for indexing Debian packages, you've learned a nice piece of technology you can use for other things. So I'm not going to, uh, yeah, this, this time uh, that's, I kept that as simple as possible. And uh, again, this readme file documents the index layout. Um, to give you an example, where do you go? Stay with me. Okay. Uh, 
that's what the index looks like. Uh, how was it? LS colors. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, that's the index. Um, well, almost. Uh, now here we have um, the README file. It tells you what is in the index. Now the funny thing, every plugin for indexing can add a bit to the README file. So uh, when the popularity contest package will install a plugin to add popularity contest information, it will also add a piece of documentation to the index, say, telling how to use that information in the index. So it says, uh, well, now you we have these sources for indexing, and uh, that's information there. And for every source, it says, well, that text, you can use it with this prefix, and blah, 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 blah. Which solves the problem of, I don't know what's in the index, the index is not documented, and all that sort of things. Um, the index is inside the directory index, which is a symlink, uh, because that makes uh, directory updates automatic. Uh, that is the Xapian things, uh, which we don't care too much about. The interesting things is that the index updates are atomic. Uh, if you ever wrote uh, anything that has to do with uh, the apt index. Apt index updates are not atomic. Uh, you have to lock everyone else out um, by opening the, the, the index for writing, because it doesn't support read locks. And uh, so if you have a, pa a tool to search packages and someone else does apt-get upgrade, your tool will crash. Or you run it as root, and they can't do apt get update. But since, well, in this case, it's just create a new index, flip the sim link, which is guaranteed to be atomic. Uh, so um, no one bothers if the index is upgraded while you are using it. Question? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> My IP, you, you've asked what's my IP at the moment? Yeah, for the COVID. Yeah, the, the, there's, there's nothing on that IP address. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, okay. One and two, one, six, eight, forty-two, two hundred seventeen. Okay, it's firewalled. Never mind, Gobby. <laughs> okay, well, um, firewall between wired and wireless. Uh, right. So that is what the index looks like. Uh, how do you think? Which one is the terminal, do you think? This one. Um, I'll show you a run of updates, uh, Zapian index. It may take a while. <laughs> uh, so it's not done on postinst. You install the package, you don't get the index right away. Because otherwise, someone would have been going to murder me, <laughs> painfully. So I wouldn't. There's instead a cron job that drains your laptop battery once a week. But at least you don't notice it. But then uh, I just update it once a week. 
since it's not fundamental information like package dependencies, even if it's a week out of date, maybe it's not a big deal. Done. It runs quiet from cron. And uh, it even has command line help, which is always welcome. Now, who is using apt-xapian index at the moment? We have two or many things, depending how you look at it, tools that uh, use it. One is GoPlay. Have you ever heard of GoPlay? GoPlay is nice. GoPlay, uh, sorry, uh, maybe the font isn't big enough. Uh, GoPlay is the package manager of the Debian game team. <laughs> you run it. Um, there's something wrong here, but uh, let's run it from another place. You run it and you see games, that's uh, the popularity. Uh, Miriam is actually uh, the user interface. And uh, the maintainer of everything. Uh, you then get to choose which kind of game you want to play. Which one? Uh, not in Debian. <laughs> Sex in Debian was a simple editor for X. But it's not in the distribution anymore, <laughs> as far as I know. So you get, I don't know, uh, sport games. It's not that many. Let's get something we have a lot, like board games. <laughs> um, and then you choose the interface, three-dimensional board games, or demon board games, which is a monopoly game network server. Uh, text-based, interactive, whatever, an interface. And uh, you also have, for some, uh, a screenshot. Package description, uh, tags, and, and everything. Interestingly, if we go to something like Arcade, did I s did it? Okay, I messed it up. It also supports via dev tags uh, an external uh, tag. Uh, ah. External tag uh, data for rating, which are taken from outside of the archive because rating are subjective. So we don't distribute them with uh, the package file because people will flame us to death. <laughs> uh, so but everyone can make like a rating tag uh, source and Deptex is able to pull it in and up Xapian index will happily index it. So it supports plugging in new categories, spell, custom Debian distribution, whatever. So that's go play. Uh, which can actually become, uh, at your option, go learn, new experimental feature. And you can choose uh, what you want to learn. Art, chemistry, geography. Wh what user interface? World Wide Web. Uh, interactive mathematics server. Uh, Mathematics for geography, uh, it probably makes sense somehow. <laughs> Go admin. So backup, uh, hardware support, uh, login, uh, and so on. Uh, we, um, it's going to become skinnable, uh, so it can be used by other task-specific um, um, things. So it's really quite interesting. Oh, another thing of GoPlay that I didn't show is uh, search. 
So this is GoAdmin, actually. I want to search for um, a configuration. I type config. And uh, it searches as you type. Automatically, this list of things will decrease according to what is displayed. Now, most of admin is configuration, so it doesn't really make sense. Uh, kill user. <laughs> Obviously, we have many uh, <laughs> of that as well. Kill user on the command line. Uh, there you go. Um, is there user management? There you go. And that's all the things matching killed user with user management. Isn't it searching up both kill and user? Yes. Uh, what it's doing uh, with uh, is actually giving you the top search at the top. Uh, indeed, CPU, uh, congratulations to whoever gave a name to it, is a replacement for uh, user add, user mod, user del. So it's indeed to remove users from the system, <laughs> although the name really doesn't suggest it. Um, so <laughs> should have guessed it. <laughs> uh, no, um, okay. Uh, you get the best results first, because Xapian does scoring by relevance. So first you get the one that matches both, and then you deg degrade into one that matches. It's even more fun than that, but um, I need really need to hurry up with the, with the presentation. Code examples. Uh, what you can actually do with uh, with it. So let's get a terminal. There we go, and let's go and fetch the code examples. I blogged about all of these, but I'm sure no one has read it. So now I force you to read them. <laughs> Who has read uh, my blog post about Appian Index, including the code attached? <laughs> three people. Okay. Oh <laughs> right. Three and a half. Okay. Uh, So I edited the configuration file, and Vim realized it and updated itself right away. <laughs> it's one of those happy moments. <laughs> uh, OK. Uh, simple query. Two tools full screen, two programs full screen. I don't want to know. I just pray. Um, What you do is um, access the database. That's Python. Uh, the examples have been ported to Ruby, although uh, no, the, the person who's done it just told me he did, but he didn't give me the results yet because he wants to clean them a bit before publishing or something. But uh, Ruby is going to come. Um, you get English stemming, because o Xapian also does stemming. You can look for. Uh, um, used or using, and it will work. It doesn't matter. The ending will be fudged appropriately. So here is, uh, if it looks like a dev tags tag, append the tag prefix. Tags are, append are indexed uh, with the xt prefix. Uh, words are indexed lowercase to make it case insensitive. Um then okay, um make this list of term or them all together, and that's the query. You create an inquire object that will hold uh, will give you kind of access to the results. Um oh sorry, let's get the simp query. 
simple. I forgot where I should have started from, but it's actually the same. Open the database, stammer, same, create the term list. Everything is ORed together, or because uh, Xapian will give the best matches first. The best matches is the one that match everything. So it will act like an AND that degrades into an OR as you go. And then uh, get the first 20 results uh, and print them out. Every document in Zapian has data associated. Data is the package name. So I fetch the package name for every match. And I get it out of the apt cache and print it out with the, sum, with the description, short description. And that is uh, look for image editor. And there we go. Never mind, it doesn't show the GIMP. It's not that apt would show it to you either. Because <laughs> GIMP is, is image manipulation. <laughs> if you want to see the GIMP, the GIMP you do, I think, yeah, but it's very much lower. You get image. You have cut off. That that was the first twenty. Um, where was it? Well, there's a, a there's a trick in one of these. Is once I get the results, I get their tags of the top matching results. Feed the tags back into the query, and then the categories of the top results will pull in other packages with similar categories but different description. That brings in the GIMP nicely. Uh, just uh, other things you can do. Xapian can suggest the terms that could improve the search. So this tag works with raster image, uh, works with image, uh, the word images, the word editor, uh, spelled, uh, okay, so Digicam itself, because it's got lots of plugins. So if you look for image editors, you'll get lots of descriptions containing Digicam inside, and so on. Uh, okay, and that's tags that would improve the search. You can do uh, search as you type. Sorry for the black on white, whatever. Fast enough. Note that it does not do substring search. You can actually look for midnight commander by typing MC. The fact that it doesn't show is just a bug. Yeah, package name. So now if I search for MC, you get it over here. Uh, over here. All these actually contain MC. Probably stemming comes into play and make it uh, weirder, but well. The code is actually simple. I would have liked to force you to read it more, but I don't have time. I need to pass to the most important part, which is help. It's written up over there, tiny and small, because I'm shy. Uh, but so one of the thing is uh, it's extensible, and uh, you can index all sort of other data. Problem is pulling them into the system. Uh, for example, popularity contest information, statistics about the the, the backtracking system, um, rating provided by external websites like iterating.org, 
It's been at least two years I promised them uh, I will find a way to put their data into Debian because they kindly made like a Debian only view of their data on purpose. Uh, but uh, it's a bit tricky. Uh, we already have apt-get update. Uh, then we have debtex update. And we would be going to have a popcorn update, uh, iterating update, BTS package info update. And it all becomes a bit boring. So, well, the, my idea would be to have one package per every data set we want to get. Because in that case, like one package for popcorn, one package for BTS statistics. Because in that case, you can choose which one you want to have. And every package can have like a cron job or whatever preferred update policy they want. Uh, the package will have a copy of the data set inside. So you can install from CD and get a starting set of data to work from. Uh, a tool that can be run to fetch the data from the internet, or a plugin system to fetch the data using a single update everything tool that will look at what data sources are installed and call their plugins. That is something to be decided. Possibly a cron job, data written somewhere in var, so it cannot be accessed raw instead of just through the index. And then an app Zappin index plugin to index it. So that would be my, my sort of vision on how I can see new data coming into the system. But you can understand it's sort of tricky if someone has ideas. Now. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. <coughs> uh, I didn't think about the question before. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I think if you're saying that you have a lot of packages which all have their own data which you need to get, and uh, it would probably be duplicating a lot of work if they all have to do it the wrong way. So it's, I think, a good idea to design some sort of API to uh, say, well, this is some commands you should be able to support, and uh, maybe you should have some code which uh, right. does it for templates, and then they can just do their specific thing uh, to actually get their data without duplicating all the things that all the others do as well. Yeah, so like a common fetching yeah. system. And it can also do the cron job as well. Which kind of sounds like uh, apt could support uh, sources that don't start with dev, but could have other sources for apt and then apt get update will pull them into the system. I was looking for Michael Vogt, who I don't see at the moment. I'll beat him up later for not being. Ah! Thank you for being here. And um, uh, uh, Michael has implemented uh, hooks after up get update. Can you run your, your database update now if you want? After, after up to get update. Just write a stamp file and look for it well, in, in your control. So if you have a control that and then go on. Like this. Um, the, I think the, the only concern is some of this. And yep. I think the whole idea of having having a plugin system to download additional data on that get update is, is just the right thing to do. Um, we, we may we may consider a, some some stuff is really heavyweight. I mean like screenshots for example, you have this screenshot with example. I mean, that's data you don't want to pull for every package, yeah. um, like in, in one big chunk. So, um, but popcorn data, I guess. Screenshots could be as just as packages, because they don't right. change often. Yeah, exactly. So the same for items, I think. We should just shift them in a package. Um, right, so I guess um, we could even talk about, because now that there's the, 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 the hook system, if apt-get update downloads something else, the hook can tell some packages to have a look and process it, which, which could mean that if, if we can make like, instead of deb or something else, that downloads a file and just puts it in a directory, that could be well enough for many things. That could like simplify things a lot. Like download minors in 
and you put it like in barley bapped uh, stuff and then the, 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 the hook will call a script, it looks if there is popcorn in barley bapped stuff and do it. Let's talk about that later. Okay, solved. Yeah. Games, exactly. There's a okay, game template. That, that uh, Go play depends on uh, games game template, games. which is okay because they don't change very often. So yeah. that can kind of go slowly, no problem. Uh, and then Go Learn will depend on uh, Learn software thumbnail. Except it's the same package because it's a symlink. Uh, but <laughs> we could uh, sort of make a package that only contains a symlink and uh, done with it. <laughs> Depend on GoPlay and uh, screenshots. Uh, I don't know. It's um, but, uh, okay. Other problem: Debian-specific stemming. Uh, as I said, uh, AppScrapping Index does not do substring search. Problem is, uh, computer people like to stick words together. So when you were looking for uh, uh, GTK, you wouldn't match libgtk because that is a substring search, which means uh, uh, we are not speaking proper English, technically. We are speaking Debian English, which has different stemming rules. Now, if different stemming rules are easy to implement on the on indexing because it's just another plugin looks at the package description data creates new term feeds them uh, it's tricky because the same thing has to be done when you search when you search you need to do stemming like you did it when indexing and uh, i can make a library with the debian specific stemming but then that would be a library written by myself that no one else will want to use. Um, so um, I'm a bit, uh, I don't know what to do here. Uh, I tried to ask the Xapian people a bit about suggestions, but they, they don't have, I mean, you can't implement pluggable stemmers into Xapian, so that wouldn't work. And uh, I'm a bit at a loss. But some interesting stemming problems are libfoo becomes both library and foo. Debfoo becomes Debian and foo, so it's not just split it, but also complete some parts. Um, CVS Delta, CVS Graph, Gnome Catalog, and so on. Uh, GNU something, usually you index something. But then GNU step, you you don't look for it when you look for a step. <laughs> so there are exceptions. Uh, but it's actually a problem, a general problem uh, with composite words, like uh, Rin, Fleische, Ticketierung, Super, Vakuum, Sauv, uh, which is apparently the longest uh, German word. Uh, it's a name of a law for tracking beef meat in some part of Germany. Uh, but it's a nickname of the law. <laughs> uh, another way to fix this problem is to actually write decent descriptions. Uh, whereas PostgreSQL could put in the description that is the Postgres space SQL database, uh, for example. Um, or uh, libgtk can mention gtk in a description. Um, so that is a call for package maintainers to put in the description all the keywords they would expect to be used when looking for the package. That would solve actually a lot. That could possibly the first four points are pointless as long as the fifth point is done. Um, Uh, well, hopefully, is 
if if that is the the keyword you would use to look for that package, that is a very meaningful word to describe that package. So, <laughs> hopefully, yeah, there's that tags which helps a lot uh, because the trick of using the tags of the top match to pull in other packages they don't match exactly but have the same tags also solves a big deal of the problem. So again, uh, GIMP is not an image editor, but through tags we can actually rec recognize it as, as such. Um, in fact, I forgot to show this. Where are you? Ah, you get mouse scroll wheel, you bastard. Let's get the browser. DevTags Debian Net is a new thingy that I've started to play with like a couple of weeks ago. Is a kindly sp the server and bandwidth are kindly sponsored by one of the companies I work for. Uh, And um, if I look for image editor here, actually, uh, I didn't do any graphical layout or anything. I just stitched together the, the thing. It uses up Xapian index as the backend. That's another thing that uses the same backend. It's just an index built uh, with a custom package database that merges package information for, uh, from all architectures. So what I'm doing here is I look for image editor. Uh, it's, this is a search on package descriptions, but I only take the frequent tags that, that are in the package that result from the descriptions. So it basically uses the package description to search tags. It's very clever. Uh, so with image editors, what I get is uh, the list of tags that are usually associated with image editors. Let's see if this works. It does. And then I just click on tags. Yes, I want it for X11. Uh, yeah, uh, that's another way of seeing it. Yes, I want to do editing. And I'm down to 28 results. Yes, it's a program um, in which there is Jim. No, there is not. Yes. OK, it's over here. There's another way to look at uh, package descriptions, uh, uh, just as a tool to look for tags. Uh, it works incredibly well. It's very smart. If you go on the online tag editing, one of the toys with which you can look for tags is you just type what the package roughly is, and it will tell you lots of tags you can actually use, and they make a lot of sense to tag that one. What else to index? That's my three ones on the list. There could be more interesting data to fetch. If it's a simple question, so if you have an idea later, Maybe pop it up. Maybe it's sorted. I was thinking about index indexing the file sources, so that we can find files with some patterns, but that wouldn't make it to, to surface, surface. so maybe nothing... So indexing source code is interesting, but you're looking at several gigabyte index. <laughs> I was uh, <coughs> thinking about the file list. Ah, okay, file list, yes. Index like apt file. Uh, yes, that's another thing to index. Can someone send me an email about it? Uh, it's uh, firewalled because I'm wired and the two. You have? What? Okay, there's another Gobby session on what IP? Ah, found automatically with uh, fancy things? Okay, if you see a Gobby session, 
join it and write that down. <laughs> One nine two one six eight. Sorry. Okay. Uh, shame it's five minutes before the end. <laughs> uh, now this one is coming. Uh, that, that's this slide. Uh, uh, what languages are uh, right? Another one, right. Uh, what the languages this package is translated in? Good one. Another one that kind of popped up in Debian mailing list is uh, licensing information. Uh, uh, people ask me to do tags for licensing information, and I tell them, well, give me a, t a list, uh, a not too long list of tags that describe 90% of the packages in the archive, and I'll have no problem doing it. No one they managed away. yet. <laughs> what? They went away. Suppose. Yes, <laughs> it's a very good way to <laughs> solve it. Uh, but <laughs> as keywords, it may work better. Uh, I know there's a new format for Debian control, uh, sorry, for Debian copyright, which may have a summary inside, which then could sort of be searched. Uh, that would be another idea, but it's a bit uh, yet to come because this new format isn't actually very finalized yet. Would it, would it, would it be possible instead of doing the natural licenses, someone posted, posted last uh, week in, in, in Planet something about uh, license to us and so on, and there was a kind of table with uh, relevant um, characteristics, like if it has uh, copyleft. Doesn't work. We have way weirder licenses that anyone could possibly think like, yes, this is GPL, but if you link it with that specific software, it's LGPL, but I have a friend <laughs> who likes to use it differently and uh, but I only allow him to do it when he's kind to me. <laughs> so we had that sort of licenses in the archive. It's really... But you, you said that it would be enough to cover 90%, something like that. I, mean, I guess that most of that... I mean, most of that is yeah, the probably, insane side. Probably about 60% of the, of the archive would be UPR, BSD, X, and... Then like you that. have 40% mess, <laughs> which, yeah. which is already too much. So if you don't have to be so specific, it, it's just an index. I mean, you can say, if you just say, well, it's short of GBL. You, know, you can say short of <laughs> but then it's pointless. But then it's sort of a pointless search result. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe GBL with, with some exceptions, and you don't actually specify them, then anyone who's reading it can go with it. Right. Uh, yeah, well, could be, all, all, I mean, could be tried, but... But don't have camera. Someone... Uh, and then, okay, I, I'm done. Hmm? Uh, uh, it's the last question. Index update, can it be improved? You notice it takes on a core 2 dual, dual, whatever, 1.6 gigahertz with uh, a gig of RAM, SATA disk, takes about, what was it, one minute to upgrade it? to update the index, uh, which could be a lot. So um, one idea is to do it incremental, especially now we can catch after up get update, but then we need to see what are the descriptions and other data that actually changed. Could be possible, unless in, in, in looking at this, you figure that it takes more time to see what changed than actually to see the rest. I don't know, can APT, can APT tell me only these packages have had any changes? No, okay. Uh, and also incremental updates increase the size of the index. The reason I recreate the index every time, it's because it's compact. Uh, it suffers from fragmentation a bit if you do updates. It's got B3s uh, that they have some leaf left around and whatnot. 
Uh, so uh, the index is about 30 megabytes. And uh, if we start doing incremental updates, it may get 60 or something, uh, so which worries me a bit. So that is another tricky one. Right, but then it's it's just marked uh, upgradable. It's not updated. Yes, but if it's upgradable, it is updated. Right. Because the package doesn't change. So you only index the ones for which you have new versions available. Yes. Okay. But but you you won't get a new description in without a new package. Okay. Okay, we're just about out of time. Thank you, Enrico. You're welcome.